for the linear elastic beam shown in the figure EI is 781250 kilonewton meter square UDL is 10 kilonewton meter per meter the vertical reaction at A is 50 kilonewton the value of RA right now the vertical reaction RA is 50 kilonewton what is the value of RA for W equals to 100 kilonewton per meter we are in only interested to calculate reaction when W equal to 100 so we will calculate maximum deflection and check out whether this deflection is more than 6 mm or not maximum deflection for UDL is WL to the power 4 by 8 EI so what will the value of maximum deflection so the deflection due to UDL is 10 mm whereas gap permitted is 6 mm so this 10 mm will exceed that 6 mm so therefore this will touch to the rigid platform and rigid platform give only the difference of 10 mm and 6 mm reaction by pointed vertically upward load and if there is a reaction at B is RB then is the displacement by RB will be equals to YB minus 6 mm is it correct the displacement of the A and B is 10 mm downward permissible displacement is 6 it means that the reaction is only offered by 4 mm because of this 4 mm there is a vertically upward load that will be equals to RB so if RB is a point load acting vertically upward at B it should produce a displacement equals to what YB minus 6 mm and for cantilever the vertical displace if a cantilever there is a point load at free end then the displacement will given by RB times L cube divided by 3 times EI and is this value will be 10 minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters agree so what is the value of RB so RB L cube is 5 cube divided by 3 times of EI 781250 10 to the power 3 this is equals to 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so you will obtain the value of RB from this and check this RB equal to 75 kilonewton 10 to the power 3 this value equals to what 100 no that is why you are not getting 10 mm okay, if RB equal to 75 then we have one you have one reaction at RA one reaction at RB so if we apply Sigma FI the total sum must equal to 0 RA plus RB minus W into L must be equals to 0 we don't know RA but we know the RB equal to 75 I am using kilonewton so this one is 100 multiplied by 5 so is the value of RA is 425 so the choice C is correct see one of the choice is given in this case we have given the beam AB and C the part AB of the beam is rigid and the part CB has a flexure rigidity equal to EI is a rigid means EI equals to infinity is it correct identify the correct combination of the deflection at the end B and the bending moment at end A yesterday we have done this type of problem if it is a rigid will it bend or will not bend will not bend will it remain horizontal for this portion so this bending will occur only for the last portion so we'll divide this beam into two part one part is rigid part where EI will be equal to infinity 
and second part is BC where EI will be equals to EI. First part is uh, rigid part. So will the deflection of this part will occur or will not occur? So that will remain horizontal. Then is the remaining part B to C is a cantilever with the fixed end and B. With the fixed end at B. And the length of cantilever is only L. So will you get a curvature like this? And is this deflection is due to only the part BC? So is this value will be Y at C? What is the value? What is the equation for cantilever for point load? Is it equal to P? The length of this part is L. L cube divided by three times of EI. What is the deflection at A? Zero. What is the deflection at B? Is also equal to zero. Because your curvature diagram is has a EI equal to infinity. So AB will act as a rigid and BC will act as a cantilever with a fixed end at B and the free end at C. Whatever the value of EI, whether it's infinity or EI or two times EI, is the bending moment is independent, correct? Bending moment, bending moment has nothing to do with EI. So is the bending moment for the first part, what is SFD? Is the SFD is constant and it is acting downward, so it will be upward. If it is a rectangle having height equals to P. If SFD is a rectangle, then is the BMD is a triangle? The points B from C, area of shear force diagram will be change in bending moment. And is this area will be PL, will be minus PL. And if you consider the remaining portion, that is this area, so this area is to be added in the previous value. This is minus PL and this also. Sorry, this is again minus PL. So it will going to add. Will the line curvature will change or will not change? Will not change. So what is the maximum value here? That equal to minus 2 PL. So we want the bending moment at A. So is the bending moment at A is 2 PL. So which choice is correct? Choice A is correct. So in this problem, the part AB is a flexible part having EI as a flexural rigidity. The bending moment is developed throughout the beam because the point load is at C and therefore we have a curvature for part AB. But as far as BC is concerned, the value of EI will be infinity. So will you have a curvature here or it become only a straight line? It, this part will become straight. where for the first part we have a EI, so we have a curvature. The second part has a curvature or there is no curvature. So will it be a straight line? So it has a straight line like this. And whatever the slope at this point, will I have a same slope here also? So if this slope is theta b, this one is also slope equal to theta c and this deflection is an additional deflection. I will call this as y1. So the total deflection of the free end is yb plus y1, that is the deflection at C and the slope will be equals to theta C. To find out the deflection and slope at B, we will shift the load W to point B and we will solve the first part independently, that is AB. So equivalent loading will be one point load plus one clockwise couple. Because of this W, will it move downward? 
and because of this clockwise also it will move downward so you have to add the two value if this is bmd for point load is this length is l so what is the maximum value pl correct then what is the bmd for udl for udl is it a degree equal to 2 and is this value will be wl udl hai nahi moment hai bending moment of bend, uh, this bending moment diagram for wl will be the wl with length equals to what l so what is the area of this figure is this area is 1 by 2 Times uh, P L square, and if you write curvature, is it divided by E I? Correct. What is the area for this figure? Is W L square? Upon E I. So is the theta at B? Is simply a one plus a two. How much is? We are not using p here. We are using here what w. So this one is w. This one is also equals to what w. It can be added. Is it three by two? What is the center is here? So how much is the center distance? Is it two by three L? And what is the centroid of this one? L by two. A one is one by two. W L square upon E I. X one is two L by three. A two is W L square upon E I L by two. What is the final answer? So this choice is correct choice. Now to find out deflection at C, is the deflection at C is Y B plus Y one? We already done the computation for Y B. Can we do the computation for Y one? Is Y one is equals to theta B? Multiplied by the length of part BC that equals to L, and theta B is three by two. WL square, so it will become WL cube divided by EI. So what is the total deflection at C? Is Y one plus Y B. That is five by six. Plus three by two. W L cube divided by three times of E I. The final answer is seven by three W L cube by E I. So we have one step cantilever. And is subjected to moments m at free end and one m at center. The first part as e i equal to two times, and second part is only e i. We have to neglect the self weight, means u d l is neglected. Is this B M D? Is this bending moment diagram for the right hand section is a anti clockwise, and for anti clockwise and the right hand section is it a positive value? So it will move up. And from this point to this point, is it a fixed value? That equals to what m. Then is it further added in the same direction? And finally, it will remain constant. So the maximum bending moment at point at fixed support is equals to what 2m. So this value is 2m, and this value is m. The length of the first part is l by 2. And second part is L by two. This is BMD. This is positive 
as well as this one is also positive. If the curvature for the first part is EI and second part is it equals to 2 times EI. So this is EI diagram. So for this one we have 2 EI and this one is what? EI. So this is EI diagram. And finally we have a curvature diagram that is M divided by EI diagram. So for the first part, what is the value of M divided by EI? Is it correct? And for second part, is it 2M divided by 2EI? So is the curvature diagram is a simple diagram? The slope at free end, is it the area of curvature diagram? This one is called as curvature diagram. Area of this diagram is simply ML by EI and centroid, the slope at this point is 0. Slope at fixed end is always 0. So we can calculate the slope at B. So we can calculate the deflection at B. So delta max or Y max equal to X bar multiplied by area of curvature diagram. Is X bar is L by 2. From free end, it is L by 2 and area is ML by EI. So, is the maximum deflection is M L square upon 2 times of EI. Answer is C.